we have a special treat now. The first pick from our brand new book club, Cover to Cover. It's called Dominicana by Angie Cruz. Yeah, it tells the story of a 15-year-old girl named Anna who immigrates to New York City in the 1960s from the Dominican Republic, leaving her entire family behind, hoping to build a life for them here in the United States. And it is so great to have the author, Angie Cruz, here with us this morning. Good morning. Yeah. Congratulations. This is a huge success. The reviews are coming in. This book is being called The, um, the a Necessary Story of Our Times. That's just huge. What's the response been like for you? Well, I have to say I didn't read a book by a Latinx writer until I was in college. So the fact that this book is reaching so many people at it's really a privilege and I feel honored and I'm really excited. Yeah. Mm. The book is based on your mom's story. She's here with your son, Daniel, today. It's great to have them both. <laughs> you dedicated the book to your mom as well. So what was her reaction when you told her? You know, I think that um, she's very shy. So <laughs> um, for her to see herself in a book, I think was really um, significant. And she said, this is your best book yet. <laughs> so I think she likes it. <laughs> That's a good review. You guys at home can't smell this, but here in the studio, we have the smell of pastelitos in, in the studio. They smell, can you guys smell it? They smell absolutely amazing. And this is a, a traditional Dominican uh, pastry. Food and cooking plays a huge part of the story that you've written. I assume it was a big part of your culture growing up to at home. Well, I do think that as immigrants um, coming into a new country where you don't know the language and you don't, you don't know the culture, food is one way to stay connected to home. And in the, in the book, Anna uses food as a way to stay connected to her family and to her tradition. So yes. Well, you've gotten a great review from your mom saying it's your best book yet. What do you hope readers take from it? Well, you know, it's, it's, I've been on book tour, and the most exciting thing for me, and I didn't really think this was the response that I was going to get, is that women from across cultures and generations have said to me, I'm not Dominican, but this is my story. Mm. And another response is, I read your book and I called my mother. And I nice. think that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, you're really hitting on something there. So, so many readers have written or sent videos to us as a result of our book club and Dominicana being the first book in it. And we wanted to bring some of those questions to you. So I think we've got someone here in our audience today. Where's Erin? All right, Erin, what's your question for Angie? Hi. Hi. I loved the scene where Anna goes to the World's Fair. It was so fun and vibrant. And I was just wondering what inspired you to write that scene? Well, I wanted to focus on 1965 because that was the year that the United States occupied Dominican Republic. And I thought that the World Fair, in some ways, provided a levity to the story um, in the way that even though Anna's story is one of struggle, right, where she's dealing with very difficult circumstances, being undocumented and being in, in a new country, the World Fair was all about possibility and the future. So in this way, it gave her an opportunity to think that way, mm. that what could happen. One final viewer question, Nadlin, you're here. Yes. You're a young writer as well. Yes. Um, as a Latinx writer, how do you make your characters more relatable, more real? Well, you know, I did a lot of interviews and looked at a lot of photo albums um, to capture the underrepresented stories of women, Dominican women, working class women, immigrant women who shaped New York City, and um, and. I actually started an archive on Instagram that is like a living museum of photographs that are some part of my research, but also women who are sending stories of their of 1960s and 50s, um, and as a way to tell the story not just of the singular Dominicana, but all the Dominicanas. Yeah, and from all the Latinas. So yeah, and all the Latinas. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. It's really great to have you. <laughs> GMA cover to cover to see what we are reading next. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.